and welcome to another video this is crypto coins and i will be going over my klima dow position that I, I bought about 13 days ago so we're going to see how it's performing and what to expect if you are invested or thinking of investing into klima now in my previous video i sounded pretty negative and i was a little bit bitter and um, a lot of you guys brought out to my attention and you guys are right um, it seemed like it was a me problem, not a gas problem. Um, so I'm going to go over some of the comments here and address some of the comments that you guys are writing to me. And um, and you guys are right. I have a few thoughts on some of your comments. So let's just go over them in no particular order. And then we'll go uh, jump straight into the video. So Mel Jackson here commented, bro, you send whatever to KuCoin, then trade it for Matic, then send it to your wallet through the Polygon network. Um, I know KuCoin has a lot of coins, but I believe that's not available in the US. Correct me if I'm, I'm wrong again, guys, but I believe one of my friends um, had to do it through his other citizenship uh, to open up a KuCoin. So I am based out of the US and I don't think KuCoin's available. And I do know that is a great exchange. So um, thank you for that comment, Mel. Next, we're gonna go to Mark. Friendly advice, include fees in the calculation. They're a part of the investment to in some way. So Mark is right, uh, on my previous video, I also had a calculator video and I did not include the fees in the calculator. So it does have to be implemented, he's right. I don't buy um, a lot, I'm not very active. I only select a few projects and I just buy into them over time. Fee is a matter and maybe I should put it somewhere in there, but um, I did not include it because I wasn't really being uh, too precise when I started investing in, in these projects, but I might add it into the calculator. So thank you. Thank you, Mark. He is right. Next comment here, uh, Wooster. Dude, there is no gas fees on Polygon Network and staking to Klima Dow, cheapest thing ever. Just like Wooster, I saw another person here. Uh, yeah, bro, you bought it on the wrong network. Whole point of being on Poly Network is cheaper fees. I barely paid 40 cents USD to swap and stake. Uh, bought on B, bought BNB on Binance, send it, send it as BEP2 to KuCoin, swap to Matic, then to Klima, and it should be on the Polygon network. If you have to pay ETH fees, you did it wrong. That's why people dislike OHM, the gas fees. Yes, so I had Ethereum, and then I had to swap it. Uh, I swapped it. I don't want to like confuse people who are doing it right. I swapped it for Matic and then I had to swap it for the Matic network. Uh, so I basically did it uh, in the longest possible way where you pay the most possible fees. So yeah, I did it completely wrong. So you guys are right. Thank you for that comment, Tiago. Uh, next comment here, Bucka Life. ETH gas fees looks like a U problem. I didn't need any ETH gas fees to stake on Klima. Overall, it probably took me 50 cents of Matic gas fees to swap the coin to Klima and stake. Yes, once again, it is a me problem. So I just wanted to address it to you guys. And um, you guys are right. This is a me problem, not a Klima problem. Thank you for that. John Dango also wrote, people who get in these types of projects with chump change is exit liquidity for the bigger investors. People believe 1K will turn into 1 million one year and few months will have big investors of 40K plus reach a mil in half that time. So John, um, thank you for the comment. Yes, um, I, I do see your point of view. The whole reason why I'm tracking uh, Klima and Time and Olympus is to put these uh, projects to the test. I don't think I'm gonna become a millionaire because if these numbers were real, we would all become trillionaires in five years, 10 years. So no, no one's gonna become a millionaire here. At least I'm not expected to, and you guys should also be aware of the risks and not invest more than you can afford to lose. I could afford to put a lot more money into these projects, but if they're gonna give thousands of percentages in return on your investment, I mean, you just need a $1,000, $2,000, uh, $500 and in one year you should have uh, you know 10 20 30 x your money I mean there's nothing wrong with investing like that now if you have big money or if you think this is your ticket out I mean you're looking at this project the wrong way so I'm glad that you did bring that up I just want to bring that aware 
to everybody else. Don't look at these projects as an opportunity, uh, like an out, as I've like you have it made and you know everything's solved in your life. It's not. It's not like that. You have to be uh, risk aware, and you just have to dabble and put some investment into it. And this is why I'm tracking these investments in the day-to-day -day basis to really see what these coins are performing and put them to the test. Thank you for that comment there, John. Philippe wrote, this is a very high risk project. I wonder how it might react when the bull market is over. I agree with you too. Right now we're in a bull market. So a lot of cryptocurrencies and a lot of crypto channels are booming just like the crypto uh, themselves are booming right now. And everybody is happy times, a lot of projects, a lot of returns and things are looking great. But when this uh, boom ends, there's only gonna be a few projects that are not going to depreciate as much. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, once this boom ends or this cycle ends. And uh, there's a lot of things happening uh, here with inflation and a lot of different factors. So it's going to be interesting to see how crypto plays out here. So yes, this is a very high risk project. Another reason why you shouldn't invest a lot of money into these projects, uh, because most of them will be losers. And the whole point of this tracking is to fish out the winner. And if you do fish out the winner to see what kind of returns uh, you are going to expect between six months to a year. So this is why I'm doing this to see what are these coins going to give us from now until one year. Thank you for that, Philippe. So now that we went over some of the comments, I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, commenting in here and sharing information this is what it's about you know sometimes we're wrong uh sometimes some of the comments are wrong but as long as we clear the air we could uh, make better investment decisions and be more efficient also if you haven't checked out my discord go check out my discord i have the dow calculator there um, i have main chat here where we can talk uh, we can talk about the different coins and news feeds running 24 7. very informative news feeds i would like to thank all my new members here 26 new members today uh thank you very much i just created this discord and i'm glad we're all in here thank you guys let's get back to the video so as of now klima is currently giving a 36,000 apy the price is 1581 now let's look at my position here right now i have staked 0.2805 klima my next rebase is in four hours and a half. Next rebase is 0.54. Uh, my return on investment five day rate is 8.42. The APY is currently 36 and a half percent. And this is where we stand. So let's take a look at the price action here on CoinGecko. So in the past seven days, uh, we can see that Klima is in a descending pattern. So it's bearish here on the past seven days. So we took a look at the 14 day. Uh, we peaked out here uh, on October 29th. <laughs> I bought on the 30th. So uh, right around here. So I bought it right around this area and uh, we got some chop. We ran up again, didn't make new highs. And now we're going back down. We do see here a level of potential support here around $1,300. Uh, in the last 24 hours, we had a low of 1,576 and a high of 1,873. That's a $3,000 swing there on this token. So extremely volatile. Be careful out there, guys. Now let's take a look at my calculator. So I've only invested $500 here. As of now, I have 0 0.2805 coins that uh, Klima Klima is currently trading at 1,585. Market value on my investment is $444.66. That brings me down to minus $55, minus 11% here on my investment. So after 13 days now with these ridiculous returns, um, I'm actually negative $55. You can see here, that the graph is descending here on the price action from the moment that I bought it. And uh, basically uh, the Klima price and the market value of my poor of this position is uh, here pretty much flatline. And now you're seeing my market value of my position go slightly down. So you can barely see it here. Um, I've earned so far 0 0.0561 coins. And here are my gains, negative 11% 
negative $55. So uh, this is kind of uh, my outlook on these projects where they are pretty pricey. You see these projects, uh, um, you know, at thousands of dollars. And if they slowly descend, that's going to combat that ridiculous high APY. Regardless, if we just take out the smoke and mirrors, just down to bare bones, what kind of returns are we going to get in one month? What are we going to get in six months? What are we going to get in one year? This is what this is about. And this is why I'm tracking these three projects to see who is the real deal and who is just going to descend over time. And these APYs are irrelevant. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for your comments. Check out the Discord. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next one.